Hello guys and welcome to another video in the video series of RCC and in this video we'll be discussing about a numerical related to long column. So we have a question here design a column with the following data that is b into d that is dimension 500 into 500 that is a square column. Clear span L is 8 meter, LEX and LEY is given as 6, 7 meter and 6 meter respectively that is effective length along X axis and Y axis. Similarly, moment along both axis is given as 120 and 170 respectively. XL load PU is given as 2500 and FCK and FY are given as 25 and 500 Newton per mm square respectively. So solution, step 1 calculation of slenderness ratio. Obviously for a long column, the column must be slender. Uh, L effective by least lateral dimension and we have to check it for both effective length along major axis and minor axis that is x and y respectively. So for lambda x, L e x divided, so let us draw a figure here, drawing the axis x and y. So along x axis will be uh, keeping d and along y axis will be keeping b. So both are 500 so that doesn't make any difference here. And L e x is given as 7 divided by 0. 5 so this comes as 14 and this is greater than 12 and lambda y is equal to le y by b that is dimension of that axis and we have 6 divided by 0 0.5 this comes as 12 and which is less or equal to 12 hence what we find is that it is long column or it is slender along x axis but not along y axis hence it is designed as a long axis a long column along major axis and short column for the minor axis that is y axis now for the eccentricity okay we have to check for eccentricity and that is calculated as ex and ey both so we have here ex as l by 500 plus d by 30 so which comes as 32.67 and both are same because the uh, value of d is same for both axis and the value of 0.05d and 0.05b is calculated which is 25 mm and what we find here is that ex and ey both are greater than 0.05b and 0.05d respectively hence eccentric should be considered since ex and ey both are greater than 0.05d and 0.05b respectively hence it is a bi axially loaded column now moment due to eccentricity mex that is calculated as pu into ey and mey is calculated as pu into ex and both of them comes as 81.675 kilonewton meter therefore mex and mey is equal to 81.675 kilonewton meter also mux is equal to 120 kilonewton meter which is greater than mex and muy is equal to 170 kilonewton meter which is greater than mey Hence, we will be taking greater moment for designing purpose. Hence, design moment due to axial loading is MUX is equal to 120 kN and MUY is equal to 170 kN. Also, for long column, additional moment due to buckling is considered. Okay. But in this case we have long column along x axis only so additional moment along x axis about y axis is considered so we have to calculate max that is equal to pu d divided by 2000 lex by d whole square substitute the value and this value is calculated as 122.5 kN meter. Then for total moment as we have already discussed in long column introduction MDX is equal to design moment along X and design moment along Y MUX plus K into MAY and MUY plus K into MAX. For K, K is equal to PUZ minus PU by PUZ minus PB and for PB which is a new term here in long column so from SP16 page 171 you can find the value of PB by using that equation. So we get P by FCK BD is equal to K1 plus K2 P by FCK. Then for P is equal to percentage of steel taking 2.5% as assumed value D dash by D where D dash is the effective cover and D is the effective depth. So 50 by 500 
is equal to 0.1 meter providing d dash as 50 mm and we get k1 is equal to for a rectangular section having the ratio of d dash by d as 0.1 the value of k1 is taken as 0.207 so k1 is equal to 0.207 and providing a four faced column k2 will be calculated as per d dash by d the value of 0.1 and a four faced rectangular column fy as 500 k2 will be taken as 0.425 now pv is equal to from the above equation just arranging the variables fck b into d into k1 plus k2 into p by fck substitute the value 25 500 square because b and d are same k1 is 0.207 k2 is 0.425 and p is taken as 2.5 percent fck is 25 so this value comes as 1559.37 kilonewton from is code 456 puz as we have already done p 0.45 fck ac plus 0.75 fy as 0.45 into 25 into 100 minus 2.5 by 100 into 500 is square okay plus 0 0.75 500 into 500 square because area so into 2.5 percentage so this comes as 5085.397 kilonewton also k is equal to puz minus pu by puz minus pv and this is 5085.937 minus 2500 divided by 1085.937 minus 1559.37 this comes as 0 0.733 less or equal to 1 okay now design moment mdx is equal to mux plus k into may which is equal to 0 so we'll be taking the value of mux only which is 120 kilonewton and mdy is equal to muy plus k into max and we have calculated the value of max 170 plus 0 0.733 into 122.5 this comes as 259.79 kilonewton meter now from interaction diagram taking d dash by d as 0 0.1 pu by fck b into d 2500 by 25 into 500 square we get this value as 0 0.4 p by fck 2.5 by 25 we have 0 0.1 so from the interaction diagram for fy as 500 and d dash by d is at 0 0.1 we can use chart 48 and we have the value for the ordinate that is pu by fck bd as 0 0.4 and for p dash by p by fck as 0 0.1 we can find the value for the fc star that is the value of moment ratio so this value coincide at this point and from the graph we get the value of mu x comma 1 fck b square d mu y comma 1 also same so bd square that will be the difference 0 0.135 so mu x comma 1 and mu y comma 1 this comes as 406.35 kilonewton meter for by axially loaded column the condition has to be satisfied that is mux comma 1 by mux to the power alpha n plus muy by muy comma 1 alpha n should be less or equal to 1 and for alpha we have to find the ratio of pu by puz and this comes at 0 0.491 and from the code the value of alpha ranges from 1 to 2 for pu by puz as 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 so we get the value of alpha as 1.485 from the interpolation then mux by mux comma 1 to the power alpha n plus muy by L muy comma 1 alpha less or equal to 1 so substitute the value that is 421.67 please correct here 421.67 this comes at 0.641 which is less or equal to 1 okay now for reinforcement p percentage is as 2.5 percent ast percentage 2.5 percent of bd this is calculated as 6250 mm square area of steel is much more greater so we have to arrange a different type of bar that is various sizes of bar so providing four numbers of 32 mm bar uh, four numbers of okay eight number of 28 mm bar 
so let us take 25 mm okay as there is a greater value so area of steel is 6 to 5 0 that has to be provided and the area of steel that will be provided with the arrangement of 4 and 8 number of bars 4 into pi into 32 square by 4 plus 8 into pi into 25 square by 4 so this comes as 7143.98 mm square which is greater than 6 to 5 0 so it is okay the longitudinal bar has been done now for lateral ties diameter of lateral ties should be greater or equal to 1 by 4 times of phi l max so taking the greater dimension of bar that is diameter of bar so that is 32 this comes as 8 mm should be greater or equal to 6 mm so according to the code the greater value is taken so providing phi t as 8 mm for pitch should be less or equal to 16 times of phi l taking the minimum size of bar that has been provided that is 25 so this comes as 400 mm should be less or equal to least lateral dimension that is 500 mm should be less or equal to 300 mm so taking the least value taking pitch as 300 mm now let us draw the reinforcement designing detailing so four numbers of bar taking the four number of 32 mm bar at the corner and the other bar at middle eight number of 25 mm bar providing a cover and for extra stirrup check along x-axis spacing between bars that is 500 along x-axis and this effective cover of 50 so we have to find the spacing between bars so 500 minus 2 into 50 okay divided by there are three number of spacing so this comes as 133.33 which is greater or equal to 75 mm then extra stirrup is required now for the type of stirrup i'll directly provide a closed type of stirrup okay you can make a check whether to provide a close or open i'm directly providing a closed type of stirrup i have done in the previous videos regarding the type of stirrup to be provided in spacing between bars in y-axis same which is greater than 75 mm hence a closed stirrup will be provided along y-axis also thank you